Hey, it's Madison Chase with Black Tree TV, and we are on the red and, well, actually not the red carpet, it's the brown and white carpet for Yogi Bear premiere. The original debut for Yogi Bear was in 1960. Can you believe that? So fast forward to 2010, and guess what? Yogi Bear is still still in your picnic basket. So you want to stay tuned to Black Tree TV and see all of the celebrities, and you may even get a chance to see Yogi Bear. So stay tuned. I'm Madison Chase with Black Tree TV. Now you've come from Mickey Mouse to being a singer, producer, director, eventually I'm sure. Uh, tell me what is it about your work ethic that keeps you in finding success in everything that you do? Oh, uh, well, growing up, I, I just, I wasn't, I don't, and I still don't think I'm the greatest sort of uh, singer or actor or dancer. I just think, you know, tenacity, you know, really pays off. I. I don't know, I grew up as an athlete, so having that frame of mind to work hard for something is uh, work hard, train hard, and ex and then you can expect a, a, a decent outcome. You do a great boo-boo. Was this something you knew you could do before, or did you surprise people with the boo-boo skills voice? This is something that I used to do when I was a kid. I grew up an only child, and, um, sorry, excuse me. As, uh, I, I grew up an only child, and I was uh, pretty bored, and my 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 mom and my stepfather were my audience and so if I could make them laugh I felt like I accomplished something so I would imitate all the uh, character voices from television and, and, and cartoons and everything. Perfect. Are you excited for the film? Or the yeah, crazy? yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I, listen, we're about to go in and watch this film with like a hundred kids. So that's the way to watch a film like this. So it's very exciting. The best audience. You'll really Thank know you, how they feel. I think we're gonna get our we're gonna get to see our target market today. <laughs> this isn't gonna make me look fat, is it? No, you are gonna look great. Okay, just a few more adjustments. Please excuse the pre-tied bow tie. My mornings are often rushed. It's fine, Boo Boo. This is going to be a whole new perspective for a documentary. The Boo Boo Cam will capture the true wilderness in all its natural glory. No other human in sight. That sounds like my apartment. Boo Boo, you're rolling. Cool. Yogi Bear, a brown bear commonly found in North America and Alaska. Weighing up to 1,800 pounds, brown bears are also the national animal of Finland. Boo Boo, I don't think you have to narrate. But I like where you were going with it, Boo Boo. I was hooked. Really? Yes. Now try to film from flattering angles, if you know what I mean. Picnic baskets may be delicious on the lips, but they're a lifetime on the hips. Their picture, it's really nice. Okay, now you play such a, you kind of almost play like an oxymoron of a character. You play like this beautiful blonde who stereotypically oh, is great. not that smart, but then you play this educated person who is really interested in saving the culture and saving the environment. The environment. Yeah. So did you pull from anything to find that character? Are you? You know, I mean, I think that um, I, t I do tend to play like d ditzier characters, yeah. and it's really fun for me. I think to to play characters that I have a little bit of depth. <laughs> but um, but it was mostly it was just really fun. It was fun to play a character that wasn't very materialistic. Mm -hmm. And you were concerned about the environment. Yeah. And we were passionate. That. She has yeah. no sense of humor though. Yeah. So how was it working with voice? Over actors like to Justin Timberlake and Dan Aykroyd. I know they physically weren't there and they had actors for you to play with. Yeah. How was that experience? It was you? really strange. We had to figure out, you know, they used a variety of techniques to help us sort of figure out where Yogi and Boo Boo were in the actual scene and um, and it was uh, it was it was tricky and challenging at times, but um, I'm so glad that I got to I have bragging rights that I've you know, I'm in a movie with Dan Aykroyd and Justin Yes, Timberlake. they're like, they've been in business for a long time, and you have too. Now, you got a chance to film this in New Zealand. How was that experience? Had you been there before? Oh, no, I had never been to New Zealand. I wanted to go when I was in college, but I ran out of money. Uh-oh. I know. It happens. That's another college. story. Yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, um... I was I loved shooting there. So I mean, I, I was grateful because they could have done the whole movie in like a soundstage, but right. instead we're in New Zealand and all the mountains. Everything's just so you know real and lush and beautiful. I think it gives the film um, you know a, a real authenticity. Well, thank you so much for playing thank your you. wonderful character. Oh, thank you very Enjoy. much.